We wanted to make million dollar cream of mushroom, so we're gonna throw a ton of these white Alba truffles into a can, and it's gonna be a million bucks. It's gonna taste like a million bucks. Boss man's listening in the background, so I gotta take that again. Million dollar cream of mushroom, it's delicious. It's amazing, it's a little bit expensive, but it's worth every penny. This is your old school Campbell's original. Everybody uses it, all those holiday Thanksgiving classics. If you look at the back of the can, it's water, mushrooms, vegetable oil, and a lot of random stuff like monosodium glutamate, whey, soy protein. The texture in this is just one gelatinous mass of starches and random filler. So we wanted to make one that doesn't have all of these other filler ingredients in here. Something that was just delicious, over the top, versatile for everything. What's the smell? It smell like truffles? You can use this to make a bunch of different dishes for the holiday seasons. Bread pudding, use it as a sauce for your holiday ribeye. All right, let's make it. So with this, we're gonna start out with reducing our chicken stock. You can find a quick recipe for pressure cooker chicken stock on Chef Steps. That's what we ended up doing because the store-bought stuff wasn't quite as good. We're gonna take our stock here and reduce it by half. When we wanna reduce it, we're just gonna boil it and try to get that down as fast as we can. When we're doing that, we're trying to intensify the gelatin that's in there, just pump up the flavor so we're not adding excess liquid. If you over reduce, you're gonna get a little bit bitter and obviously not have enough liquid. It's gonna be sticky, tacky, lazy. So now that we've got our stock, I'm gonna add the gelatin. This extra gelatin is gonna make it so it's a really silky smooth base. While it's at a base and you stretch it out, it can hydrate and still be a proper consistency. So now that we've got our chicken stock reduced down and our gelatin added to that, we're gonna go to reducing our cream. So this is why we've got the big pot on this too, because this is just gonna boil, boil, boil. If the smaller one like we did with the stock, it would just foam over. Now we're just gonna wait for a pot to boil. Next step in our process, we're gonna make our roux. So we're taking part of the measurement of our truffle oil um, and reserving We'll start over. Just our oil in, flour in. So a roux is kind of the base flour that you use to thicken any real gravy and most mother sauces. Like just pouring flour into a liquid is just gonna clump immediately, so it helps disperse it and thicken it up. So now that the roux is thickened, I'm gonna turn the heat off because we don't actually want to fully hydrate and thicken this. About 50% of that in there. And we'll evenly just kind of whisk it together. At this point, it's gonna kind of just gel up and we're gonna reserve this to add in a little bit later. So we'll save that roux. Next step, mushrooms into the pot, our remaining half of the stock, thyme and rosemary, and our salt and pepper. All we really wanna do is bring this back up to a boil and lightly cook the mushroom. So we're gonna cover it up, bring it to a boil, and let it go for about four or five minutes just to get the mushrooms tender, and then we'll combine all the rest of our ingredients. We're using a king oyster mushroom. It's got a really good texture, it still holds up. When you cook it, it doesn't turn to mush. You can get some bite and crunch to it. And it's relatively inexpensive, but neutral in flavoring. All right, so it's less than five minutes, but at this point, we're done. If you wanna come in here and take a look at this. So our cream reduction can go in now. And then we're gonna add that roux and chicken stock combo that we had earlier. We'll just whisk this up until that's evenly distributed. It's gonna get pretty thick too, because this is, this again, isn't like a finished soup or anything. It's a base that we can use later to stretch out. We're gonna take it off the heat. We don't need to cook it anymore. We've got our little bump of white truffle oil. You can see this is really super thick. This isn't really something that you're gonna to wanna to eat at this point. These are fresh white Alba truffles from Gourmet Attitude. It's a really cool distributor out of New York. One ounce of white truffles that costs two thousand dollars a pound. So this is uh, anybody got the correct math on that? If you want to actually work it out, I use a microplane. This is kind of a chunkier one, meant for like Parmesan cheese and stuff on your pasta. But it's kind of a good texture for this. You're not really fine. You're not big chunks. It's just gonna be a nice pile of fresh white truffle. Oh, it smells so good. Blowing your mind, right? Just watching, watching the money get shaved up. How much is this a gram? Anybody do the quick math there? $2,000 a pound, one ounce. How much is that per gram? It's like $123. This is crazy. 
Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> All right, mix it up. Super chunky, really thick. This is gonna be your base. It yeah, it's finished. That chicken stock was a little dark. Yeah, why is it so brown? We're gonna get every drop out of that. <laughs> That's crazy good. That's delicious though. Community pot now. Double big? dipping. We're all family here. Just, just, I just want like um, like brioche buns with those popovers. Just dunk it. Sweet Hawaiian rolls, all I need. I don't know how much trouble you got in this thing now. Uh, it's four dollars a gram. Oh, so good. Okay, one more bite. That's 10 ounces. It's as much as a can of Campbell's. A can of Campbell's is 99 cents. This, as we've determined, was $150. 99 cents, $150. See if it's worth it to you. <laughs> it's worth it to me. I gotta say, I wish it was white. I don't know why. With other wild mushrooms like these Matsutakis, we also did a vegan gluten-free version. As long as you properly store them, a hot liquid like this, you're not having to bloom it, you don't have to soak it like a sheet. It's a hot dish. Hot dish.